cut cases, controversies, and sold out shows. Naramali's life is like an unending movie that the public can't seem to get enough of. The soapy crooner made a rapid rise to the top in recent years, and so did his finances. That trend us. I'm Joy, and today I will tell you how Naramali makes his money and how he spends it. Please subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button and click on the bell icon beside it so you can get notified about our hot videos immediately we upload. Alright, let's get started. Those who might not be too familiar with him, Aziz Adeshino Fashola, born 10th May 1991 and known professionally as Naira Mali, is a Nigerian singer and songwriter. He is known as the president of his controversial fan base, Malians. Mali was born in Agege, Lagos State, Nigeria. At the age of 11, he moved to Peckham, South London, England. He studied at Pollock Hall before attending Walworth School, where he obtained his general certificate of secondary education. Mali graduated with a distinction in business from Peckham Academy. He also studied business law at Crossways College, now Christ the King Sixth Form College. In December 2017, he released his first major single, which was the Olamide and Lil Kesh assisted single, Is a Go which became the theme song for the Super Eagles at the 2018 FIFA World Cup. The official remix of Is A Go was released on 16th June 2018. It features vocals by Olamide, Lil Kesh, Faus, Simi, and Slim Case. On the 3rd of May 2019, he was arrested by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, on charges of fraud after he released the single, Am I a Yahoo Boy, featuring Zlatan, Yahoo Boy is a slang for cyber criminal in Nigeria. But the arrest turned out to be the catalyst that sped up his rise to the top of the Nigerian pop music scene. After he was released 14 days after being granted bail, he released what turned out to be his biggest hit till date, titled Soapy. Which was followed by other hits such as Tesumole, Opotoi, Puta, and Mafo, alongside Young John. Earlier this year, he was detained by the Nigerian police force for contravening the lockdown order imposed on Lagos State by President Mohamed Buhari to contain the spread of coronavirus in the country. Everywhere he goes, controversy follows. Mali has received countless criticism as a result of the content of his lyrics, Opotoi explicitly addresses a woman's bum with lewd lyrics of base sexual adulation. While Soapy never made any direct reference to masturbation, the word means to masturbate. The slang came about with how boys use lotion or soap as lubrication to masturbate. Despite not being known for showing off his expensive possessions like his cars and houses, it is no secret that his pockets are heavy. After he was accused of stealing a Toyota Camry worth 1.8 million naira and an iPhone X valued at 330,000 naira in December 2019, Mali went on Twitter to address the claims made against him. He wrote, Car theft? Maybe I need to post my Bentley, Porsche or Benzo. If you lot like, try staying my name from today to tomorrow, I'll still be the next president. And who's Adeyemi Fashola, aka Naira Mali? Another free promo I'm guessing. Not long after the accusations of car theft surfaced online, he posted a picture of himself standing in front of his fleet of cars, which included a 2019 Bentley Continental and a Mercedes G Wagon, cars that are completely out of the league of the Toyota he was accused of stealing. On 13 June 2020, he performed at a concert in Abuja despite the interstate travel ban and social distancing rules aimed at curbing the spread of COVID-19. He traveled to the venue of the concert via a private luxury jet he chartered alongside friends of his, Big Boy Cruz. Mali surprised his younger brother, Shoddy Fonts, with a new house in May 2020. The revelation was made by Nigerian dancer Pokoli, who took to his Instagram page to share photos of the new house. Pokoli, who had just been gifted a brand new car, revealed that the house was a surprise to Mali's younger brother. 
He apologized for spilling the secret, but acknowledged that Malians don't hide success. According to the information he revealed, the house is gotten through the same real estate company's lantern bought his house from. He wrote, At Naramali just made his house for his younger brother at Shoddy Farm. Congrats, bro. God go do our own. Malians don't hide success. CC at Kid Cut. When he's not shutting down crowds or getting on the nerves of law enforcement and public officials, he mostly stays out of the public eye. He recently bought a house in Lekki, which is reported to be his fifth house. Wow, quite impressive for a man still in his 20s. Apart from the money he gets from his songs being streamed on several platforms, Naramali is an artist in high demand for shows and events. As a result of his reputation for getting in trouble with law enforcement, and his history of arrest and detention, it has been hard for him to get endorsement deals. It will take a lot of PR work to clean his public image so that brands can be bold enough to make him the ambassador. Things took a different turn for him recently though. Patricia.com, a company that deals on selling and buying gift cards and bitcoins, offered him a multi million naira endorsement deal. His official net worth is still a mystery, but several sources have estimated that it might be in hundreds of millions. Many sources claim he is worth seven hundred thousand dollars, which is equivalent to two hundred and seventy one million naira in Nigerian naira. By all indications, Naira Mali is just getting started, and we are sure there is more to come from him in the future. Watch this space, guys. <laughs> Well, that's all we've got for you for now. Do you think Naramali has another source of income, apart from the ones mentioned in this video? Do you think he is richer and has more properties? Let's hear your thoughts by dropping a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe.